much of this material is unshipped. We just lost 8,000 pounds of it. The United States government announced this summer that they couldn't find 8,000 pounds, and it only can be done solely on the basis of available, publicly available information. If you want to build one, you can use all, in, all materials that are available in industry, but you have to oh, see. Okay. <laughs> most difficult part was... Um, the fact that you were able to design an atomic bomb, what does that... What can you extrapolate from that? What does that mean for society in general? Well, it means that we're living in dangerous times. It also means that if I can design an atomic bomb, then it's reasonable to assume that a terrorist group can do the same thing. And the only way we're going to stop a terrorist group from building an atomic bomb and blowing up a city is by stopping them from getting access to plutonium or uranium. Do you think that in nuclear power, do you think the major problems come from terrorists or meltdowns in power plants or waste disposal or what? I think the general problem is that it's a poorly planned technology, and we've rushed into it. There are some problems that really need consideration. The main problem, as you said, is the waste disposal problem. Second to that is the accident. If we have an accident in a nuclear power plant, it can kill as many as 45,000 people and $17 billion in property damage. And the real question is if nuclear energy is as safe as the proponents of nuclear energy say it is, then why won't the insurance companies insure it? Oh, okay. <laughs> the most difficult part was um, 